Okay, so if you remember from yesterday, I kind of did a quick introduction on graphing. Um, I just barely touched on the fact that we can um, graph using the x and y intercepts. So we wrote and discovered if it was linear and how do you write it in linear equation. This is yesterday's notes here. So now what's going to happen is we're going to actually graph these using the x and y intercept. So we already know, hopefully from last year, remember that the x intercept is the horizontal axis, the y-intercept is the vertical axis. It does label them x and y for us. And when I talk about the intercept, I'm talking about where does this line intersect each of those axes, which here I can see it crosses there and there. So um, what's going to happen today is I'm going to be looking algebraically how to find those. Um, to do a very simplified version of this, if I already know that my intercepts are 0, 4, and 2, 0, I can graph both of those. So 0, 4, remember um, points are given to us x, y, which means you do the left and right before you do the up and down, or you run before you jump. So if it's 0, 4, that means I go left and right 0, but then I go up 4 since it's a positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I put my point. Now 2, 0. Go over 2. 1, 2. Up 0. Great. There it is. Then I'm just going to play connect the dots. You've been playing that since you were a kindergartner, right? Right like that. Perfect. If you're on paper, use a ruler, a straight edge. Um, your driver's license works awesome. Get yourself a nice straight line like so. So today, I'm not going to give you um, the intercepts. It's going to be your job to find them. I have good news, though. It's super, super easy. What you're going to do is plug in zero. First for x, then for y. So check it out. First, I'm going to do it for the x. Two parentheses. Um, x, I'm going to plug in 0. See that? Plugged in 0. Plus 4y equals 16. Now solve for y. So I know that 2 times anything is 0. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. And of course, 0 doesn't really do anything, so that just kind of cancels there. If I divide by 4... That's going to give me y equals 4. Didn't mean for that to move there. Go ahead and write this as a point. If all points are given to me x, y, you're saying that y equals 4. So that should be here. How do I know what x is? Well, come back. What did you plug in for x? You plugged in a 0. So let's use 0. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to flip it the other way. So or I'm going to plug in 0 for the other variable. So 2 times x plus 4 times 0. So notice I plugged in 0 for y this time. Now let's solve. 4 times 0 is 0. So I don't think I'm going to have to do anything with that. That's going to pretty much just cancel. Which leaves me with just a 2x equals 16. And to get rid of the 2... I'm going to use division to give me x equals 8. So again, my point is going to be x, y. x equals 8. I plugged in 0 for y. So that means y is 0. Those are your two points. Now plug them in. 0, 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 8, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got a little bit off there, didn't I? There. Like so. Questions there? Um, the only other thing I can think of that will be kind of interesting is like number 4 where it's not already in standard form, that's okay. You don't have to put it in standard form. Just plug in the zeros like you know. So here's 0, 
equals negative x minus 5, and um, y equals negative 0 minus 5. Solve each of those. So for this one, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and that gives me a negative x. The way to get rid of that negative sign is to divide by negative 1. That means negative 5 equals x. So this one is negative 5, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. And the other one, it looks like uh, that 0 is basically just going to cancel, right? Because I can't have a negative 0. That's just 0. So y equals negative 5. Oh, that's already solved. So this point would be 0, negative 5. 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, and I think that's all we're going to do today. Let me check this other stuff. Um, yeah, that's it.